The number of Baltimore County school buses with bad parts continues to grow. Fox 45 News first broke this story in November. Now we have the final results. As Project Baltimore's Chris Papps explains, our initial investigation would start with five buses has now expanded to nearly 150. The same spell your name for me. Paul Sauer, S-A-U-E-R. You are the whistleblower? I am. Why won't you answer this question for parents? We're going to be standing here until we see bus lights. The whistleblower. Would you put your kid on this bus? It's an extremely big safety concern. Who came to Project Baltimore anonymously in November saying there's a problem. And he was right. MDOT has just proven what I was trying to say, that a lot takes place or uh, there is a lot of things wrong that the county just sweeps under the rug. Project Baltimore in November first reported that five Baltimore County school buses with broken fuel tank straps were passing inspection and carrying students. Fuel tank straps secure the fuel tank to the bus. Sauer gave us inspection reports where a mechanic wrote fuel tank straps broke. The inspection was signed, certifying the repairs were made when they were not. The buses were then sent out to carry students, many of which had disabilities. Following our initial investigation, county schools removed those five buses from service and inspected the fuel straps on all of its buses. In January, BCPS announced 52 buses had issues and the fuel straps were fixed. The Maryland Department of Transportation also got involved, announcing it would do full inspections on every Baltimore County school bus. That inspection is now complete, and we have the results. In total, the state inspected 801 school buses. It found 143 defects on 106 buses. 39 of those defects were considered major defects and included problems like fuel leaks and brake line leaks. Combine those 106 buses with the 52 BCPS had already repaired for deteriorated fuel tank straps, adjust for overlap, and a total of 145 Baltimore County school buses failed inspection and needed to be repaired. Eight percent of the fleet, a result Sauer predicted in our first interview three months earlier. I would say uh, probably 15 or 20 percent of vehicles probably shouldn't be on the road. You were exactly right. How many defects are we going to let slide before buses start running off the road and wrecking? Our fleet technicians take tremendous pride in their work. After Project Baltimore broke this story, BCPS Director of Transportation, Dr. Jess Grimm, was called before the school board to answer questions about bus safety. During the November meeting, he was asked about MDOT's inspections and said this. We don't expect that there are going to be any material findings other than what any normal in inspection would find. Do you believe that the results from the inspections from the state are significant? I do. I mean, if, if the MDOT is finding issues with brakes, that's pretty significant. Over the past three months, Baltimore County Schools and Dr. Grimm have declined all of our interview requests. Why won't you answer this question for parents? Would you put your kid on this bus? We tried to get answers by going to the shop and speaking with Grimm. This inspection report says that fuel tank straps were broken. No one would say anything. For this story, our interview request was also denied. Instead, we received a short statement saying BCPS awaits MDOT's final report and will address any recommendations as appropriate. It also said our dedicated transportation team works hard to ensure that BCPS buses are safe and can successfully transport more than 77,000 students to and from school every day. The supervisors were well aware of the situation and the directive to just sign off on the inspection forms and put the bus back in the service was coming from our highest supervisors. Sauer said he came to Fox 45 News in November because he felt like he had nowhere else to go. I did not feel safe. I didn't feel I didn't have any I didn't feel like there was anybody that I could trust. 
now he's coming forward because he no longer fears retaliation. In January, he started a new job outside of the school system he graduated from and then worked for as a mechanic for 12 years. At 30, he has spent nearly his entire life inside Baltimore County schools, and he feels he did his job. I feel that we're working towards a positive difference for sure. We've shed light on a, a big problem that nobody knew about because we would sweep it under the rug. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore.